Tilden L. Colton from the city of Zion Deliverance Tabernacle right here in the beautiful city of Newton, Georgia. And you're watching us on the On Point Network. We're so thankful, amen, that you and your family have chosen to take a few moments out to hear a word from the Lord. We want to invite you to come on into our service, amen, and get your miracle. Mark 9 and 23 says, if thou can believe, all things are possible to them that believe. May the Lord bless you.
God. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Oh, the Holy Ghost is here right now. The Spirit of the Lord is in this place. That's it. That's it. Come on. Give it to him. Give it to him. Give it to him. Yes, shall I have a voice? Hallelujah, 
Jesus. Hallelujah, he's worthy. 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 What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. You got a well gone and bless him. You got a well gone and bless him. You Oh, shut up. Bring the cold out of my hand. 
that will push me. Be like my son. He'll bless you if he have to use a virus to bless you. Some of you don't even know it. He gonna use a virus to make you get free. He gonna use a oh oh. I just felt that for somebody. Somebody better grab that. Somebody better get it. Somebody better get it. I just felt it. I just felt it in the midst of a pandemic. Pay your house off. Pay your call. Pay your debts off. Oh no man, nothing but the law. Your savings account get ready to explode. Your full white cake. I know what they told you, but that preacher said, the prophet said, your full white cake get ready to be restored. You will have more than you ever had. You are the head and not the tail. Above and above only. All of your needs are met according to his riches. That's it, Lord. You better praise him for that. Yeah. 
What you're trying to say is you've been waiting on the preacher to lay hands on you. Well, the Lord said, I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take your trust out of the preacher's hand. And I'm going to put your trust back in me. In the spring, how God is fixing it. Well, can't nobody be glorified but Him. He's the only one that's getting the glory. Look at what He did last Sunday. They put the Easter basket and the Easter egg and the bunny rabbits. They put them on every ship. The Easter hat, the Easter dresses, the Easter makeup. And can I tell you what that? It's still on the ship. Jesus said, I'll tell you what. I'm going to shut down Easter. And I'm going to get my glory back. You couldn't even wear your Easter hat. Couldn't get you an Easter three-piece suit. Couldn't get you a pastor. Easter socks and a pair of shiny pink Easter shoes. The Lord said, I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get the glory. He shut the nation down just to show them that I am God and I'm still worthy of all the praise. I got to get out of here. But on my way to the house, I came to tell you that victory is in your stone. Look at Somebody say, neighbor, victory is in your soul. I need you to shake somebody and say, neighbor, for the rest of your life, live in victory. From now on, victory is yours. Slap yourself and tell yourself you will find victory in this storm. Anybody feel like victory is in your life? I'm the head, not the tail. I'm above and above only. I'm well and I'm sick. Somebody give God praise because victory God bless you. I'm going to the house. Victory. Victory is yours. You're not going to get it. The same faith. I'm, 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 I'm trying to preach and teach this right Tuesday night. But that same faith that was with the disciples in the storm is with us now. Amen. There's going to be some peace and there's going to be some be still. The peace is for me. Y'all hear me? But the be still is for my storm. I'm going to walk in peace and my storm going to be still. If you believe that, give God the glory. Right now. Come on, you believe that? You believe that? I can't apologize for the way this service has gone. Y'all know what happened around here. And I've been trying to contain myself. Amen. But we got to get back to business as, as the way we know it. We know it raw, rattle, and uncut. Giving God the glory and giving God the honor. At the climax of this meeting, citizen, I need y'all to open your mouth and let the world hear us. Give God glory right now. invited Jesus into your life as your Lord and Savior. I want you to take time and do so right now. All you got to do right there in the comfort of your home, behind those prison bars, right there in that hospital, right there in your automobile, all you got to do is ask him, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. I confess that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him would not perish but have everlasting life. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. For the rest of my life, I shall live a life that's pleasing in your sight. If you prayed that prayer, you can thank Jesus for salvation right now. I want you to get on the phone. Call a man of God. Call a woman of God. Tell him, listen, I prayed the sinner's prayer. I accepted Jesus as my Lord. I'm born again. I need further instructions. Where do I go? 
from here. The Lord bless you. This is yours truly, Apostle Tilden L. Colton, coming to you live from the city of Zion, the Lord's Tabernacle, a place where miracles are real. The Lord bless you, and the Lord keep you. Heal my prayer. Amen. 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 We'll praise the Lord. The Lord has indeed blessed our souls on today. And you know what? I'm praying that the same miracle that we received here at the city of Zion, that you received it today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Amen. To the city of Zion Deliverance Tabernacle. Amen. On the On Point Network. And we want you to join us. Amen. Every Sunday at 630 for a life changing experience. And I want to pray with you today that the Lord will bless you and keep you until we meet again. Father in Jesus name. We thank you for those that have viewed by way of television. We pray that you will strengthen and bless every family. We pray that you will minister to every need. And Father, those that are not saved, we pray today that they will invite you into their lives as their Lord and Savior. And Father, we thank you that all is well in every area of our life. And for the rest of our life, we will seek to please you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, this has been yours truly, Apostle Tilden L. Colton on the Old Point Network. The Lord bless you.